You stop, breathe. I promise you everything's going to be okay. Stop stressing so much, girl. I don't even think you'd hear that. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week, Cancer. Now, I also do your weekly tarot reading between you and your person, Cancer, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, Cancer, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Cancer. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. In Cancer, if you find some tarot cards that resonate with you, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below which ones do, which ones call out to you the most, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right? If you find some tarot cards that resonate with you, Cancer, I'd really appreciate it for you to take the extra time to give my video a like and subscribe, because it does really help out my channel, and I would be super appreciative when you guys take the extra time to do that for me. Um, and yeah, before I get into this reading, finally, Cancer, I just want to remind you, this reading, this tarot reading, and any of my tarot readings are here just to give you some food for thought, some perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, right? I'm not here to make a decision in your life, and no tarot card, no tarot reading should ever do that for you, Cancer, right? This is just some food for thought, something to consider as you go throughout your week. So, all that being said, let's get into your reading now, Cancer. With your starting oracle cards and starting energies of this week for you, Cancer, we have the new moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. Now, I'm just going to pull, pull the brakes on this real quick, Cancer, for, um, because I know there's going to be one or two people, honey. It's going to be the one person where the one type of Cancer that's going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm ready for love, right? Um, with the one. And then there's going to be the other one where it's just like, Velka, not, like, not looking for love, not trying for love, all that, right? Let me cover the basis, honey. Don't get ahead of yourself. Now, when it comes to tarot cards, oracle cards especially more so, um, there's only so many cards you can have, right? You can't <laughs> when it comes to, you can't just have like a card, well, I guess you technically could have a card for everything, but like, you're not going to have a card that says like, oh, your best friend is coming, you know, you kind of have to like wrap them all up in like certain messages. So when it comes to this, I see this more so as like a new cycle beginning with something pa that you feel passionately about, something that you would, um, so this would be like a project of yours, you know, maybe like a project of yours that you feel passionately about. This could be like a opportunity coming your way where, um, things just start working out for you. It could be like a new person. It could be like a, you finding like a soulmate, which could be platonic still as well, that you start connecting with someone that you just have a deep connection with. It doesn't have to be something romantic. It, this is just a card more so emphasizing of like the type of energy it would exude, right? So you have to read in between the lines of tarot a little bit, Cancer. Uh, the center of this energy, we have the Six of Wands, which is the victory card. Um, this is like forward movement, Cancer. So this makes sense, though, when you think about this, though, because you have that victory. You're climbing those steps to whatever it is to your sun. I don't know if this is a sun or I think it's a sun. You're just climbing up towards like whatever success, climbing towards whatever it is that you're trying to attain, even if it's just like going through, progressing through life. Cancer. And I say it makes sense with your new romantic cycle beginning because it's almost like you're starting like another, you're starting like the uh, next phase of your life, uh, of some aspect of your life rather, not just like your whole life entirely, right? So this, you kind of can gather, uh, Cancer, that this is more so addressing something that you've probably already actively been working on or progressing in some type of way. You probably already, if it's meant for a person, you've probably already started connecting with them and realizing that, you know, you might just be good friends with them. You might have a relationship with them. You might have a good business working relationship with them. Um, if it is like an opportunity or a blessing, I still get the sense that like you're in the middle of climbing those steps. So it's not like a, you, you'll have an idea of what this is already covering. Cancer, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Six of Cups comes in to the right of it. So this is confirming to me, Cancer, of something that you've been working a long time on. Um, you know, when the Six of Cups comes forward, though, I also want to kind of point out of like keeping like a balanced head because I can't help but feel like for some of you Cancers, 
as you get close, like you take your each, as you take each step, hello, <laughs> cancer, towards your goal, towards whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, I get the sense of where your um, mental state might get a little bit unhinged. And that sounds super condescending and super judgy, but I don't mean it in that way, cancer. What I mean by this is where it's just like the excitement starts building up, the nervousness, the anxiety, everything, the fear even starts building up a little bit. So when it comes to, um, and this more so like because this is a card of referencing the past this could also represent like you know each like kind of like that stage fright every time you get close to that goal you start experiencing some stage fright and do some self-sabotaging right maybe you've been trying to lose some weight cancer each time you're about to hit that ultimate goal weight of yours you just end up like falling off the wagon and just start eating about you know it's whatever right um, the full card comes in at the bottom. So this is what it is that you need to really, the energy that it is that you need to be really working towards Cancer to, uh, continue on with this forward movement going up each step, Cancer. The full card is just like that, kind of like a, you don't question if something's going to work out or not. You just, that doesn't even like register in your brain. It's more with, so something like a, well, why wouldn't it work out if I'm doing it, right? You know, remove the doubt. The fool doesn't overthink. They don't overanalyze. They just do what feels right to them. They just, you know, continue committing to climbing up those steps. They don't look to the left of them. They don't look to the right of them. They don't look up or down. They just keep their eye on the prize. And also just being super present, right? In the moment, I feel like the fool is only able to be the fool because they're just so in tune with the world around them and they're just anxiety to the side, right? I don't really see the fool as someone that experiences anxiety. So that's the energy that you really want to be working towards this week for sure, Cancer. So we got that general energy done. So we're going to start now with uh, your career situation. Uh, I almost called you Libra. <laughs> we're going to start with your career situation now, uh, Cancer. We're going to get into your, um, for my Cancers, the careers, uh, finances and all that. Then we'll get into a row for your social situations, Cancer. And then after that, we'll just get some final thoughts on through tarot on just the reading itself. So starting this out for your career and financial situation, Cancer, we have the Ten of Cups, beautiful. We have the, oh wow, Ten of Discs as well. This is such a beautiful pairing, actually. Like these two together like this. And then you have the Four of Swords. It makes sense though. Now, Cancer, the Tens usually refer to like the closure of some type of cycle, something kind of, some type of phase ending. Um, and this is, probably happens because of this four of swords energy four of swords is that healing um closing the casket on like a past problem so let's just say you always used to have um we talked about that stage fright from before cancer um this is like you finally um putting an end to the cycle finally burning the hatchet or burying the, that anxiety like this in this coffin here in this casket here honey we're just going to pretend like this is your anxiety this is your insecurities whatever it is for you right and it's through overcoming whatever that hurdle is because four of pain or four of pain four of swords is the aftermath or like the process after you experience the pain of the three of swords three of swords talks about like some deep pain happening and the four of swords is just like you coming to terms with it meditating with it putting things in perspective and just in the overall in the name of trying to move on and overcome it and once you overcome it it's like you're finally closing the chapter of that book and that's when things really start working out for you, right? The Ten of Pentacles, well, this is not the Ten of Pentacles. This is the Ten of Pentacles, honey. The Ten of Pentacles here, the Ten of Cups here, like this is having, this is literally like having your cake and eating it too. Ten of Pentacles is that happy family life, that stable energy. Um, it's really, I mean, in terms of finances, is really like financial abundance. Um, Ten of Cups is just like, I mean, your emotional needs are met. Uh, you're just feeling overall fulfilled. You don't feel lacking in any sense of the word. Um, because you cover both bases of the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Discs, you got both of the good, good, positive cards for tens. So it's beautiful. Let's see if we can get some clarification, though, for my Cancers on these cards. All right. So the clarification that we have going on for your Ten of Cups Cancer is the Queen of Wands. So how you fill up these cups, how you accomplish this is, you know, kind of continuing on in that nature of the full energy where you kind of just do it. You kind of just 
our free spirit and uh, go with whatever it is is burning inside of you. Queen of Wands is essentially that same energy, since essentially that same intent, but it's a little bit more controlled. It's more thought put into it. So, <laughs> so while as the Fool is kind of just like a just go with the flow, but as long as that flows, that whatever it is that the direction that the fool is going in, the queen of wands kind of has a game plan and kind of has like, okay, we're going to be doing this and then this and then this, but it's all in the name of something that you feel passionately about. So a little bit more structure to this cancer. So definitely in terms of your career and finances, come up with a game plan this week. And I feel like it'd be really beautiful. The clarifier that we have for your 10 of discs is the page of cups, beautiful as well. Um, this is, the Page of Cups is that representation of, I mean, I can't help but mention that there could, it, the card itself means like someone coming into your life potentially, but it's more so like the deepening of things. It's kind of like the, uh, what you would say, like, especially when it's developed, uh, paired with a Ten of Discs, it's almost like you develop a new relationship with money. You develop a new relationship with your job, a new perspective with your job even perhaps. And then the four swords, I say funnily enough just because they go beautifully together, but it's not funny for you because you're the one dealing with the situation, my right, Cancer, so I don't mean it in a that kind of way, right? But so I'm like talking to you as I'm adjusting my phone. <laughs> but we have the five of cups coming in here. So this is definitely like something that you didn't want to move on from. I do feel like um, it does seem to be because it's in your career it could be like some of you cancers lost your job recently and are just now overcoming the pain of it or finally finishing off this transition to go into like a better new opportunity which is what that page of cups would represents like a new beginning of a new opportunity a new blessing so i do feel like this is what's holding you back this is what's weighing you down cancer it's just like the moment you have this healing process the moment you move on right the five of cups is like you're not happy about it initially right you're still looking back and be like ugh. but if you just pay attention like if you turn where your vision is at you'll look at these two other cups and you just need to change your direction and you'll realize just how bountiful this is actually trying this path is leading you towards you just have to shift your perspective a little bit shift your perspective gain new perspective so you can really exude that four swords and have that healing process and then that's when we get into those beautiful ten of cups ten of pentacles energy for you cancer so beautiful beautiful career and um financial situation for my cancers now let's get into my uh what deck are we gonna use Oh yeah, we're gonna be using the neck or not. I had like a brain fart there for a moment. Uh, we're gonna be getting into my cancer's social uh, social situations. Uh, don't worry, I haven't seen the cards yet. I just was like, eh, cause it's like, <laughs> I usually like three is my number when it comes to, I mean, anything's my favorite number, but especially in tarot, I like to just do pull cards in threes usually. Um, but this time for y'all, y'all are getting four cards for your social. So it's already kind of like a, letting me know that there's probably a little bit of drama going on cancer and uh drama i'm kind of seeing in a sense uh we have the ten of wands with the nine of wands so someone in your life it's almost like someone in your life is challenging you <laughs> that sounds super like tribal or what have you but i get this sense of where it's just like someone's testing the waters with you someone is testing your boundaries someone's testing how much they can push your buttons it seems before you decide to kind of like blow up almost and snap at them and this is where I feel like you're actually giving, this is where it is the energy I feel like you're exuding with some type of social dynamic in your life, Cancer. We have the Hermit card with the High Priestess card. So very guarded energy on both sides, on both spectrums of this, these two cards. Very guarded, very into, like self-reflective, just very deep in thought, truly. It's almost like you don't quite know how to handle this person or like it's almost like they're actions or their words are like really confusing you and you're just not sure what to make of it um the high priestess does refer to your intuition so for my cancers that already have like a gut instinct of what's going on with them it almost feels like some of you guys are trying might be in a little bit of denial of like the ten of wands energy that this person probably is um impeding you as they're kind of adding that baggage weighing you down and so because it's like you can't quite understand their actions you're 
not quite sure if you to listen to your intuition or not because you're probably just like in your head you just say oh, i don't know if i should let go of this person or not it's really kind of giving me this vibe i should but then you're kind of like uh it's almost like you try to talk yourself out talk yourself out of it uh cancer all i'm gonna really say in re regards to this is just the feelings that uh, i'm gonna just leave it like this the feelings that you're having towards this person they're not wrong is something that i'm just getting they're not wrong get out of your head about this take it at the face value take them at face value listen to your intuition if your gut's telling you to do something just do it man just do it so clarifiers for this we have the knight of wands coming in for the nine of wands so yeah this is or knight of not nine of wands this is knight of coins for you cancer so definitely you're being pushed to go out of your comfort zone and probably put your foot down um, with this type of dynamic, you're really being, having to be like pushed to a point of where it's just like, you're kind of having to take a stand, which is probably not something that you normally like to do, Cancer. Um, Nine of Wands, or Swords comes in with this Ten of Wands. So kind of, I mean, literally not kind of, you are, this does confirm what I was implying and saying before Cancer, where it's just like, this person has you in their, like, you have, you're, they're in your head bringing you anxiety really with like two really heavy cards of where it's just like this person's really taxing on you mentally i feel we have the high priestess clarified by the high priestess so truly cancer this is what i was saying before the feelings that you're having the thoughts that you're having with this person you're not wrong <laughs> when it comes in twice you're not wrong listen to your intuition um hermit card clarified by the nine of cups this is kind of confirming to me of an energy where it's just like you're better off it's you cancer is better off hermiting right now rather than trying to include some type of energy into their space trying to make it work you're better off hermiting and separating yourself from some type of energy that's weighing you down cancer so not the greatest social reading i guess but i mean i guess it's good in the sense of Hopefully just bring some affirmation to my cancers that are in their head about what to do with this person because that high priest is coming in twice together is very interesting. So let's get some closing thoughts now, Cancer, of your reading. Just some overall spirit guide messages. We have seven of swords coming in for you with the devil card and the ten of swords. So you've had three different tens come forward. So I am feeling inclined to say, Cancer, to look up the number ten for numerology to look up later and well to read about later and see how it correlates with this reading uh the clear or the card that i have seven of swords coming in that's clarified by the six of water or six of cups rather uh so this is definitely taking a stand for uh towards this is kind of referencing that s situation we just talked about cancer where it's like you're taking a stand towards someone that you have some deep history with taking a stand and defending yourself towards someone that you normally have been in good graces with but for some reason i just can't help it it feels like cancer you're dealing with somebody that just is acting so out of character or acting in a way that you just normally wouldn't anticipate cancer you have the world card coming in clarifying the devil card so and i also want to point out the world card is the back of the deck energy for one of my tarot decks i was looking at it i was eyeing it but i was just like uh, let me not but this coming in as well is just like okay um, let me mention it again um so with this dynamic I really do feel like this this devil comes in the shape of whatever is taking up primarily the majority of your energy. And with the Six of Cups following you as what well, like a lot of cards are following you throughout all my tarot decks. Um, I can't help but feel like there just seems to be some type of situation that's taking up the majority of your energy and that's what that devil is for you it doesn't have to be a social social situation it's really what this devil is is just whatever is like really impeding your life right now really like the main focus like what's taking the majority of your everyday energy i'm just referencing it as a person since we just got off of your social situation right and the clarifier that we have for your ten of swords comes in with the two of pentacles so every single time cancer another energy comes in it talks about chaos and every time this other energy comes outside energy that isn't yours cancer there's chaos that follows behind it there's baggage there's sense of being overwhelmed um anxiety and that's what this is this ten of swords with this two of pentacles is where it's just like a bunch of chaos and really needing to just like put an end to something rather than trying to juggle a bunch of things at once trying to make a bunch of things work that just really is not meant to work out i feel like cancer is just it really does feel like you <clears throat> 
excuse me, Cancer. It really does feel as if like you're being called to just hermit a little bit. And then from a place of hermiting, connect to your intuition. Um, your intuition, I always will say from a spiritual perspective for my Cancers that are spiritually involved, um, listen to your guides because that's where your guides, your archangels, ancestors, whatever it is that you subscribe to, Cancer, they communicate primarily through your intuition or most popularly known for that. So um, yeah, Cancer, I really feel good overall about your reading. Definitely let me know what that energy is about. Let me know. Like, I don't know. I just can't. I just, I'm not getting some good juju. There's someone that's just not around. There's, there's someone, something or some energy that's around you that's just not giving me good juju, honey. So um, thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to, to do this reading for you, Cancer. Hopefully I can do another reading for you at some point in the future. If you enjoyed this reading, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe. And then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time though, Cancer, I love you so much.